Hey guys, it's April Wells with Soder and Cute Quilting. What I was going to do today is I was going to show you how I transfer um, the border design that I've done already and how I make that show up similar on each each border. So pretty much taking this design and and taking count of how far down does this loop come right here? What's the point that it starts right here? So this is probably like an inch and a half away, but I'm gonna get exact measurements on how far from this point to this point, and when this begins, and when this begins. So I will measure probably from the border, the exterior part, in to see when the feathers begin, to see when the spine hits, to see when this spine hits, and to find out how far down the spine will come on this blue area. And so then I'll go up here, and I'll do the same thing in the white. And the white, it's difficult for you to see it on the camera, so I'm not gonna go much into, um, you know, demonstrating it how far apart it is on the white but I am going to draw it out for you and show you how I um, the method that I use to transfer the image so let's talk about that okay so I'm going to draw the quilt out here's the border and the main thing is is that you really only need to draw out one border and within this this border we have three different color borders so this is the blue this is the cream and then we have another blue beyond that okay so this is blue So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the center and here in the center you can see right here that um, this is where I started. So I know that this is the center is what I'm going to call it and in the center is where I started my feather. Okay and so my feather is going to go up. It's going up it's not reaching the blue it's coming back down and it's going into the blue and out and back up and curling around like this so this is the spine of my feather and then I'm going to come in and we're going to take some measurements Okay, so what I use for measurements is a drafting ruler. It has um, eighth of an inch marks all throughout it, and it has large one inch marks, okay? So what I'll do is I'll take it and I'll figure out how many inches down is that center mark. I've got five inches down, so I'm gonna take my paper and I'm gonna put five inches right here from here to there, okay? Then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna mark the top of the feather, the very tippy top, which is about two and a half. So this point is 2.5 inches. And then we're gonna come And we're gonna mark the other top of the feather here, which comes in at three inches. So this is three inches. And what we wanna find out is this actually comes up, if you look down here, that line, that feather right there, the three inch mark 
the very top of that is about this far away. So this is like the top of the feather. And then we're going to come straight down and we're going to measure and that's about two inches. Okay, so we're going to move this over and we're going to make the top come up here like this. And this is the, actually we're going to do it here. This is three. This is two. So right here, do little dots to let me know how to line that the, the top part of that feather up. And then it starts to curve down. Now, the reason why I do this is because whenever I get down to the bottom part of the feather, I mean to the quilt, I'm not going to know what this looks like. So I need to make a reference so that I can figure out exactly what it looks like. Now, another thing to think about is you, when you get down to the bottom of the quilt, your feathers, you're going to be, it's going to be another day, maybe another month. Your feathers are going to be different. So you want to make sure to kind of keep track of how your feathers look. So my feathers at the tip, tip of them, the feathers are about an inch wide on the very tip. Like on the thickest part of my feathers, the, the, the biggest that they are is about an inch. Okay, and the longest that they go is four and a half. So I've got feathers one inch by four and a half inch. Okay. So once I start working on this other side, the other half of the quilt, the other half of the border, then I can come back over here and reference and be like, oh, well, where does the cross, cross hatching begin from the center? You know, or is that really that important to me that these bubbles and stuff are, you know, the same on this side as they are over here? Um, <clears throat> it doesn't have to be perfect, but I do want it to look like it's similar. So what I can do is I can go ahead and measure, because I already have my center point right here, and I can measure out from the center to where the swirls kind of end. So they're kind of ending at the five inch mark. And so I can come in here and I can put, you know, little swirls and I can put from the center out five inches and then cross hatching. Okay, so that's kind of, you know, gives you an idea. And the cross hatching goes behind the feather and behind the swirls. So when you're doing this, again, when you come down to it, you wanna say, which design do I wanna put down first? So you wanna put down your feathers first, okay? And second, you wanna put down your swirl bubble things. We'll just call them swirls second. And then you wanna do your cross hatching. Third. This is just a reference for you. Nobody else has to see it. It doesn't matter how messy it is or what it looks like, just as long as you understand what it looks like. So another thing to think about is how far do my feathers go over on here? So right here, it's kind of hard to see. Let's see if that helps. No. Nope. So my feathers go up here, how far? My first three feathers go up an inch and a half. So on here, I can put like this, 1.5 inches over times three, okay? So that kind of, these are the biggest ones. I mean, there's a little bit more that overlap, but they kind of go down into it. So I'm not gonna have to worry about that. I still have some things to finish out on this side, 
before I start on the next side. And let me see this. Yeah, you can kind of see it a little bit better. And I'm going to open up the windows and move kind of out of the way so you can kind of see it a little bit even better on the camera. So this is kind of what I'm working with. We have the feathers are going to be first and they're going to come in. I'm going to put my spine so that I can make sure that my feathers are where I want them to be. And I'm going to mark this out on the other side with a um, blue marker. I'm just going to put a tiny dot. And that dot is going to be very similar to this size right here. I don't want to push it down in there. I don't want that blue uh, to get down into the batting because then it's more difficult to remove that spot later on. So, um, once I get the spine down, I'll go through and add the feathers, which is the best part to me. I love putting down some feathers. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to put these swirls and the circles and then the cross hatching. Okay, and the swirls go all the way down here. And they go up into this corner. Now when I get into the corner, I'm going to have to figure out how to add another feather to come in to either go most likely it's going to go behind this feather and this will be the top feather so I still like I said I have a little bit more work to do um, at the top here you can see I still need to put in some swirls and some cross hatching to get it finished but that's where I'm at right now and that's my design process and whenever I get started on actually marking the other side, I'll do another video so that you can see how I mark it out. Have a wonderful day.